Welcome to this video guys. If I try to activate my virtual environment here, I get this error that says the script activate.ps1 cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on the system. Now, I'm encountering this while I am activating VENV because there are other scripts that you are trying to run and just getting this error. Let's see how we can fix this. So the first quick and easy fix is to just change this terminal from PowerShell to CMD. What you can do is click on this here and click on command prompt and this will open. And now you can activate the virtual environment or run any other scripts like this. So if I try to run this again enter as you can see virtual environment is activated now this is the first end method also another quick tip for you is if you see this ps here this means that this is running in powershell you can just type cmg hit enter and you will change to command prompt and now you can activate your virtual environment this is the uh, first method. Now the second method is, so if I open terminal here, by default, it might be opening in command prompt. So how can you change that? To change that, click on this arrow here that says launch profile, click on select default profile and change this to command prompt. So in your case, this might be selected. So click on this and whenever you click on terminal, you will be open in command prompt and you will not see that error. So this is how you can permanently set terminal to command prompt. But if you want to run PowerShell for other things like, you know, set uh, running some commands, what you can do is let's say I am in PowerShell itself, PowerShell terminal itself. So if I try to activate it, I still get this error. So to fix this, you need to enter this command that says set execution. Okay, make sure all the cases are correct. Set execution policy, scope, process, execution policy, and say to bypass. Hit enter. Okay, so it's policy, not quality. So now hit enter and it is saying execution. Okay, okay, and here also I have entered quality. And now let's try to activate our virtual environment again. And this time, as you can see, it is activated. So we have seen the two methods of running this command successfully that is by changing our terminal to command prompt or by setting the execution policy to bypass. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.